I've never actually played the game Diablo like in the 90s or in the early aughts for that much, but I have a lot of friends who loved the Diablo games. I was very curious when I saw that there was a reverse engineering of the Diablo engine called Devolution X. <laughs> Other than the kind of 90s, rather appropriately 90s cringe name, the engine is actually a brilliant reverse engineering to make it binary compatible with the original Diablo game. The game has been out since I think 1996, so getting copies of the game is actually pretty easy. They're all over the uh, all over the place. There's a copy on the archive.org. I don't know how legal it is, but it's been on the archive.org for quite a while, so Knowing them, it's probably fine. So I'll have that linked below, along with the link to the binary. Binaries, because it is a multi-platform. I'm going to be running it on x86 Linux desktop, but you can run it on Windows, Mac, and it's so low power, you can even run it on a Raspberry Pi. Let's dive into that and see what it takes to get set up and running with Devolution X. The first thing we're going to look at is the Devolution X, Devol Devolution X uh, GitHub page. This is where all of the magic happens. As you can see, a lot of this, these code has been committed in the last year. And this is the formats we have. We have Linux 32-bit, 64-bit, Windows 32-bit, Nintendo Switch. I heard about that and completely forgot. SDL1, Amiga, Linux, PowerPC, Mac 64. My goodness, this is, this is, this is absolutely amazing. Haiku. That's right, folks. If you are rocking Haiku, you can play Diablo, a game that only really ran on Windows 95. That's amazing. Okay, so <laughs> where, where, how do we get started? Well, by itself, Devolution X doesn't do very much. What you need to do is you need to grab the ISO image. This ISO image is 572 megabytes. You can download it directly here, but archive.org now has torrent functions. But I'm gonna go ahead and download it right here because I have pretty fast internet. I don't have to worry about that too much. I'm just gonna save that file. And while it's downloading, I'll say uh, the legal end of pulling this stuff from uh, archive.org is even actually um, debated in the subject of this. This dump of the original ISO, therefore, archival purchases uh, purposes. So I guess they're saying if you have a legal copy of it, you're allowed to download this. I, again, I'm not a lawyer. Please, please uh, consult a lawyer if you're genuinely worried about this. Though I think it's probably pretty harmless to grab this game to play. Uh, technically, it's probably illegal, but I, I have a feeling that um, Blizzard probably is looking the other way, hence why this was uploaded on December 7th, 2013. Doubt it's going anywhere anytime soon. All right, once you have the ISO, you can right click it and open with disk image mounter. This mounts it like a drive. Where is that thing? There it is, Diablo. Once you're inside the ISO, all you really need from the original disk is this file here diadbat.mpq that's the entire game you can see this is 512 17 megabytes that's the whole thing you don't need anything else in here and paste it into your devolution x folder there's a little binary here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna close the browser we don't need that anymore and i'm gonna open up the terminal and we're gonna see what it takes to get this thing going so uh, I think we just do dot devolution x and we are running it's almost instant it's actually pretty impressive so escape escape oh man single player oh look i have my game from the other computer let's go yeah and it works exactly as one would expect now, um, I've again, I haven't played the original, and you see you have these black bars on the sides. So there's that. But Diablo, you can play Diablo, and you can play it today. So if you get a chance to play this 
rebuild of the Diablo engine and you've played the original, I'd like to know how you feel this compares to the original, if, if, if it's different at all. I mean, for all I know, it could be a complete perfect drop-in. This version though, they are working on features like widescreen support, because right now it still supports only the three by four aspect, um, but the newer versions in the future, hopefully, hopefully quite soon, will support widescreen monitors, because that's the only thing I really have anymore. I guess I'll catch you guys on the next one.